everybody it's your girl angie welcome back to kiss my cheeks tv <sighs> let's get into basketball wives um i don't like to watch tv shows that make me angry like i was just talking to my beautician today and we were looking at a lot of historical stuff on youtube and just talking about our history as black people we were definitely discussing that movie the Black Judas and the Black Messiah. And I was just telling her, I don't like to watch stuff that piss me off. Like, I like to watch it for the history. I love to learn about our history. But I can only take so much. I don't need, I'm at an age now where I don't need my blood pressure rising. And I definitely don't need my blood pressure rising for ignorant as complacent as bitches. Bitches who rather be stupid for a check then actually get an education and do something besides lay on your backs and pop out babies for child support. You only get 18 years on that. Because it's obvious, none of y'all hoes got nothing else going on. Nothing else and nothing in the brain. <sighs> I'm going to title this episode Complacent Ignorance because I feel like people are complacent. with they rather be ignorant than be educated because they rather get this little bit of rent money from VH1 because I know Sh Shawnee ain't paying y'all that much. My fast forward game this week was extremely strong. A lot of people got the fast forward. Let's jump into it and see what I actually watched. Everyone got to the houses. Okay, it's two separate houses. I actually like Jackie's house the best. Not because I want to hate on Shawnee and Evelyn, but because Jackie's house was more modern. It seemed more L.A. It seemed more like a two-week party. Like I, I loved all the floor-to-ceiling windows, the very contemporary pool. I just like Jackie's house the best. Let's move on. <sighs> Malaysia, when she arrived, made it clear that she's still pissed at Jackie. She know Jackie didn't start the rumor, but Jackie didn't let the rumor die. And Jackie was the one who introduced the rumor to TV by bringing it to the girls. And that's why she's pissed. Okay, Malaysia makes it known that she's very happy. Jackie is at another house, but we're going to revisit that at the end of the episode. Um, OG, you know, everybody came to Jackie's house. When OG gets there, she like me and Kwame trying to have a baby i'm like can y'all finish one thing first can y'all maybe finish the house first can you maybe walk down the aisle first now it's 2021 a lot of people don't believe in marriage anymore a lot of people can say bitch you ain't get married before you had your baby you right <laughs> but to each they own but oh gee i'm over it i'm over it especially Every time you bring this man on our TV screen and you talk about a baby or marriage or a home, he's rolling his eyes like, bitch, I ain't say none of this. What you talking about, bitch? You know, so I just wish, honestly, OG, as much as I like you, I wish you would not have even came back this season. It's, to me, the, oh, the way they run my pressure up. I know they done ran your pressure up, but you're a little bit younger than me. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. Um, Jennifer lets it be known that she can give a fuck less, a fuck less about what's happening over at that other house. Jackie don't be starting no shit. She already know Jackie about to go back and forth and play telephone and get the messages all misconstrued. We already know Jackie is about to do that, but I feel like Jen only gives a fuck less until, until Shawnee and Evelyn bend over and hand her their ass and she comes crawling to kiss it like jennifer can't jennifer would do anything <laughs> i i put my hand on the bible jennifer looks like she's willing and able and ready to do anything to be back in the shawnee evelyn clique she just mad she on the outside anyway phoebe was exposed I don't wish bad on nobody. I hope she did not have Corona. But the only thing I did hope was, okay, I hope she misses this whole <laughs> two weeks of filming and she's at corn. I, I don't want to see Phoebe. I don't. I don't want you to have Corona, girl. But I definitely 
don't want to see you on my TV screen either. So she, Phoebe saved me the fast forward by being in quarantine. Now she did throw a little bit of shade and was like, I'm just going to stay here on my quarantine because I don't want to get the older people sick. And I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? Shawnee, Evelyn, like we know Jackie ass old, but Evelyn ass is old too. And so is Shawnee. So you shade your friends, girl. <sighs> Jackie is back at the other house. She doesn't understand why Jen is so bothered. And I don't understand why, why Jen is so unbothered. And I'm like, Jackie, I don't understand why you're so bothered by Jen being unbothered. If Jen doesn't want to make up with these girls and she said, fuck them bitches, it's fuck them bitches. And I don't understand why you care. You allowed to travel back and forth from house to house. You can go over there and kiki and fool la la and be fake with them bitches. You you not ordered to stay at the other house. So I don't understand why you so upset that Jen doesn't want to be bothered. The episode is extremely boring. We see little sit arounds, little side conversations. I'm like, what are you bitches gonna do for two weeks to entertain? Because none of you all are really gonna put your true tea out there we're gonna bring these new two it's two new girls coming next week i saw at the preview i guess we just gonna see what they talking about one of them sleeping with phoebe man so i guess for a week and a half they gonna talk about fucking phoebe's man and phoebe gonna come in at the tail end and have a little fake rah 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 because we know phoebe is not going to do a thing Liza comes in and wants to talk to Shawnee. She said, y'all over here talking about colorism and racism, but I got some real problems. LJ's daddy done spent up all his college money. And I said, okay, it's time to hit the fast forward. All of Liza Morales, anytime she wants to talk about Lamar Odom, fast the fuck forward. Let me tell you one thing, Liza. You should have came on this show a season ago. See, Wendy Williams already done beat you to the punch. Every, anytime anything goes down with Lamar Odoms, it's on Wendy Williams. We already know about everything this man has done from the second he set foot with the Kardashians until right now. He was just on Wendy Williams. Talking about the money he about to make from this fight is going to go help pay this little boy tuition. It probably won't, but <laughs> girl, I just don't want to hear it. It's like you beating a horse that died twice already. We don't care about Lamar Odom. Number one, number two, unfortunately, you had children by a man who was publicly all over television doing drugs. He had a severe addiction to drugs. I forget what was his drug of choice. It doesn't matter. But as you know, most drug addicts blow through their money. I don't know any drug addicts are like, Oh, we can get high today, but I can't touch that. We can't get high off of that money. Like, no, bitch, if he was getting high and his money was running dry, the college fund was smoked. You know it. We know it. It's not entertaining. We don't want to see you on TV crying about it. If that college money was not court ordered or a judge as a part of his child support said he had to put 200 k away for those children to go to school, girl, all he did was spend his money. Yeah, he might have told you 18 years ago he was allocating that money to a college tuition, but guess what? If it was not court ordered, he was spending his money. He was smoking up his money. And girl, your children's father used to be addicted to drugs. The money is gone. You know what you need to do? Instead of getting on Shawnee's TV and bitching and complaining with these ignorant bitches, you should have filled out your motherfucking fast because it seemed like you didn't miss the deadline. Moving on. Jackie comes over to the house and we get to see Jackie fool la la and act like she want a tour and really care about talking to these ladies just to see Malaysia hold up her middle finger and every time Jackie comes close she running off like bitch what you scared for you not scared of Jackie I, I'm telling you I'm telling you one thing like this one thing like this a bitch ain't gonna run me out of my house vacation or not that's your house even though you on vacation if I don't like the bitch, I'm going to sit and be comfortable in my house. She can come in here all she wants to. I, I know how to sit and look at my phone and ignore a bitch in their presence. 
that shows your immaturity, Malaysia. You don't have no self-control. You don't know how to sit down and let Jackie be Jackie. Jackie wasn't even talking to you. Jackie has a lot of power and energy over you. But let's fast forward through all that because the sad part is Jackie over here want to be friends with Evelyn and Shawnee and they talk the most shit about her behind her back. Evelyn starts crying about the racism and fast forward. I don't even want to hear the shit no more. I've already expressed how I feel. So Evelyn gets the fast forward. It's nothing. It's not a tear that can come out of Evelyn's eye that will make me not think she like I don't think Evelyn is the racist who has like racist hate in her heart like oh I'm gonna say mean shit about all black people like I hate black people no Evelyn is an unknown racist like you've done shit that has been racist the moment you call CC Ling Ling that was racist that was racist shit and you didn't apologize for it when it was pointed out to you it was like oh, I said something wrong? Yes, bitch. She ain't tell you to come ding dong, come mop my floors, come clean out my toilet. That would have been some racist shit because she would have been implying because you're Hispanic, all you can do is clean hotel rooms. So you shouldn't have called her Ling Ling. When you put that monkey emoji up, emoji up that was racist. So we're not going to go backwards and we're not going to fall for the tears. Now, Kristen has to be the one in the group where they must have pulled sticks, pulled straws, Kristen got the short straw and had to go talk to OG. <laughs> you can't tell me no less. This was the most produced meetup. Kristen could care less. She's talking about, I'm dark skinned too. And I want to know why she's using colorism as the storyline, as a threat. Like I'm dark skinned. And if I said, if I, if, if my dark ass don't feel like it's colorism, it's not colorism. Like, bitch, you sound stupid. You sound stupid. It's just like saying, well, we all black, but the white woman only called her a nigga, so she ain't called me a nigga, so she might not be racist. Like, bitch, just because it didn't happen to you doesn't mean it didn't happen and does not exist. I'm not gonna let my pressure go up. I'm not. I'm not. Let's hurry up and get through this. So Kristen goes, oh, let me turn my phone off. Kristen goes over there and I felt like Kristen could have had an intelligent conversation. And mind you, OG had already said over on her Instagram and she released it. I haven't listened to it. The conversation lasted a whole hour and it was heavily edited because it did seem like whenever Kristen said something, they would only flash to the section where OG was like see this is why I knew these bitches wasn't gonna fucking listen to me anyway like it they made OJ, OG seem like she was very aggravated and irritated when she said they had a very long intelligent conversation and I feel like Kristen knows how to be intelligent I just feel like it's sad <laughs> Kristen is so sad that you need this check so bad that you're willing to be ignorant for it. You're willing to be blind to ignorance for your check. <laughs> I don't know what y'all going to do next season because I can promise you, I can promise you, I don't see this show going past this season. They won't get a season 10. One, this was you all's opportunity to all come together in one house, put Ayala in there, put some black person who's not up Shawnee's ass, not that motherfucker who did the little special at the end of the reunion last year, but someone who is well known in the black community that can mediate because OG OG could be the authority of colorism, like the person you know, a college professor of colorism, because it is coming from OG, none of those women on this entire cast will receive it None of them will receive it. And a bitch like Shawnee, who thinks she all that because she likes skin and popped out some, some of Shaq's babies and got some good child support sitting around and she does siphoned off some of Shaq's money off the top and she's sitting good. Shawnee, the type of bitch, don't feel like nothing she does is wrong. Nothing. Nothing. So... 
I feel like this is the example of colorism right here. They're at the other house. Kristen is on her way to Jennifer, OG, and Jackie. Evelyn says she's worried about Kristen. Why does she have to go over to the lion's den? A lion who is ferocious, aggressive, an animal. That's where Kristen is going. Everyone at that other house is dark-skinned. Jennifer, Jackie, OG. Why is that house the lion's den? When no one in that house has picked up a bottle and slung it across the table. No one in that house has jumped their nasty ass feet over a conference room table where people were eating to go slap the shit out of Jennifer. No one in that house has picked up a cafe table and slung it across the street to hit somebody in the head. No one in that house has done that. But that house is the lion's den. That that confessional right there is fucking colorism. If, if you can't see it, you'll never see it. And I think that's why... I think that's why this is probably going to be my last review. Because I can't watch a whole season of colorism, no colorism, colorism, no colorism. It... it I can't watch this shit and have my pressure go up. It's other shit and real shit in this world for me to worry about than these bitches who's getting paid money for showing their asses on Instagram. I can give a fuck less. I feel like this was an excellent opportunity for the black community to have an intelligent conversation and bring colorism to the forefront in an intelligent way. But no, not these bitches. These bitches too busy trying to get their next Gucci, their next Chanel, their next... Um, Instagram um, promotional. And, and the con of it all is, the con of it all, I believe Shawnee is the one who told Evelyn, go ahead and put this um, lawsuit out on OG because as long as y'all have a lawsuit, y'all can't film together and we can get two separate houses. Because for the life of me, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what attorney... Um, can't see with their intelligent eyes the bullshit that Evelyn does and can't come up to the same conclusion that everybody else in motherfucking Twitter can come up with. That your ass was racist and colorist. You letting Shawnee mess up your future bags. Because this bag getting ready to be gone. All of y'all getting ready to lose this bag. Let's move on. OG explains to Kristen about featurism because Kristen, for some reason, wants to lead the conversation with, I'm dark skin, you dark skin, I don't see it. And she was like, but you have European features. You have more white people features. You have a smaller look, nose. You have long, curly, straight hair. You know, the coming out your scalp, it ain't a weave. You know, <coughs> excuse me, dry throat. <coughs> You look more acceptable than me who is from Africa and I have a wider nose, thicker lips. From the moment OG set foot on this show, y'all were calling her ugly. Before y'all even knew her, all y'all talked about she can't dress. Her makeup is trash. Let's give her a makeover. Let's buy her a wig. Y'all have talked about OG's looks before you even probably knew her real name. What the OG stood for. <sighs> The conversation really didn't go nowhere with Kristen. At some point, Jennifer jumped in and was like, how come you can't see that OG is being labeled aggressive, but she never threw a table at anybody? And oh, why you say something about her cousin? She's like, shh, shh, don't be talking about Malaysia. But like the bitch threw a table. She should have been fired. I don't understand why she was not fired for picking up a table and throwing it at someone's head. And so Kristen comes back to the house and she, you know, this ain't nothing but an um, opportunity. Oh no, before that, then Jackie starts chiming in and was like, I've been called aggressive too. I've been called crazy. I've been called aggressive. And I'm like, 
Example number two, bitch, you dark skin too. I don't know what mirror you looking in, but you not the lightest hue. So you getting it too. But see, Jackie ain't gonna never understand colorism because she allows it in her own house. And I ain't going back on that because see, these the bitches that was exposing Jackie's colorism. They came on the show trying to expose Jackie as a colorist, but they can't see the colorism things that they're doing. Jackie, you did not taking care of your daughter. I had to come on this show and give your daughter to go for me because your daughter was dark skinned and you don't want to take care of that dark skinned daughter. Like, Jackie, they was doing the shit to you. They was exposing you. Of course, Jackie don't get it. Somewhere in the episode, Shawnee admits that, yes, I know People say I treat Evelyn different, but I don't treat Evelyn different because I'm a colorist. I just treat Evelyn different because she my favorite. It's called favoritism. I'm like, bitch, favoritism is not the new colorism, bitch. You were colorist. And not only is Shawnee colorist, whoever on VH1, whatever product, I don't know the name of your production company, whoever signed the agreement for OG to have to film a separate reunion from these bitches who have done all the ass beating that they could all season one through nine. But OG has to sit over there who hasn't touched a single soul. You all are the problem. You all are the colorist. Kristen comes home and tells all the girls, you know, what happened. And she, she says she felt like she was educated. But because since OG can't tell me how she feel and she just want to tell me what she experienced, we going to discredit everything she went through. I'm like, bitch, how the fuck you think she feel? She has to sit here and say, oh, you bitches hurt my feelings. And I was sad and I was hurt and I was emotional. Like she has to really tell you her emotions for you not to understand how she felt she told you how what she experienced what do you think she experienced joy you think she experienced pleasure what the fuck do you think she felt this is why i only promised three episodes so now oh she can't tell me how she feel i, I guess it ain't no solution like we tried she she can't even tell us how she feel i guess it ain't no resolution ain't no point of me talking to the bitch if she can't tell me how she feel fuck you shawnee and then the ignorant bitch comment of the episode goes to malaysia when kristen says well she tried to say that i experienced colorist too and she's like oh you were colorized too you were colorized i'm like you are the dumbest bitch you are playing like <laughs> get ready to downsize bitch when I tell you, you are a fucking up y'all own show. <laughs> you all are fucking up y'all own show with y'all own ignorant comments. What the fuck do you mean you were colorized to? Bitch, you were colorized first. Remember you and your friend Brandy? And remember how Shawnee said you ain't had no substance? Remember how your friend Brandy was boring because cancer was boring? Remember, can't nobody call Shiny a bitch? You fired if you call Shiny a bitch, but Evelyn can call Shiny a bitch. Everybody else can. Everybody light skin could call Shiny a bitch, but, but not dark skin Brandy. You know, you're fired. Thank you for your fucking services. <laughs> bitch. Until you put your lips on Shiny's ass, you were the dark skin on the outcast. Remember, but since Shawnee said, oh, it's some space on my ass for you too, Malaysia. Go ahead and put your lips right there. I guess now you don't see it no more either. Dumb bitches. After Malaysia said you were colorized too, I was over it. I, I, I was over it. I said, I can't believe she said this dumb shit on TV. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Sink your own ship. Sink your own show. And and that's my three episodes. I'm willing to um give the new girls a chance, but it, 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 if it's just some more colorism bullshit, I'm not going to review it. I will talk about what the new girls are bringing to the show. I'm hoping it's a different storyline. But if it's more of this back and forth, back and forth, if it's Malaysia versus... And no, 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 no. This is what I want to bring back up. Kristen tells them about how Jackie... 
came in and saved the day with, oh, they called me aggressive too. And Malaysia was like, I know me and Jackie are having our problems, but she, she took up for the collective with OG by letting her know that I'm dark skinned too and I'm aggressive. So I, I you know, you aren't the only one who's colorist. So I, I guess um, Jackie's not all bad. I'm like, is that all it takes, bitch? Is that all it takes for someone to downgrade you, throwing the table, for someone to take up for you, for throwing the table across the street at Jen's head? <laughs> now, it's, it's, yeah, I think I might talk to Jackie and yeah, she can call my kids dirty and all that, but she took up for me with that table throwing thing. So I'm like, you are the dumbest bitch on the show. It's, it's sad. It's, it's very sad that all of you all, instead of using this platform to what, what T.S. Madison <laughs> I love T.S. Madison instead of minding your business get a job start a business sucking a dick instead of doing any of that you all rather place your lips on Shawnee's ass to get Shawnee rich <laughs> instead of doing something with your platform like none of you all saw the Atlanta girls Ain't none of you all found any other stream of income that you so desperately need this basketball wives bag that you all are willing to be the faces of ignorance when it comes to having this very much needed conversation. You all want to be on the other side of history with it. It's very, it's very sad to me. I, I hate to see it. And I hate to, I don't understand where production is going. Like, are you all trying to sink the ship? <clears throat> None of you all have seen what the people as a collective, your audience is saying. This is your moment to take an unfortunate situation and educate the masses. But instead of doing that, you all just want to be more ignorant. And I'm done. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you think. And that's it. Bye. Come back and watch me for the Housewives and Love and Marriage Huntsville and Bell Collective and all that good stuff. Because I don't know if it's, I'm telling you, if it's about colorism, I'm not reviewing it. Bye, y'all.